Satoru Gojo. He's the name that sends shivers down the spines of cursed spirits and sorcerers alike. With power that seems limitless, he is the pinnacle of Jujutsu sorcery. But behind that confident smirk and those piercing blue eyes lies a man burdened by his own strength. Today, we peel back the layers of the strongest sorcerer to reveal the tragic genius behind the power. But what if his greatest strength is also his greatest curse? Join us as we delve into the mind of Satoru Gojo and explore the hidden tragedies that come with being the strongest. Gojo's power is nothing short of extraordinary. His mastery of cursed techniques places him far above his peers. Limitless. Infinity. Six eyes, each of these abilities alone would make him a formidable sorcerer. Together, they make him nearly invincible. Let's break down his abilities. The Limitless grants him control over space, allowing him to manipulate distance at will. His infinity technique creates an impenetrable barrier that stops any attack before it even reaches him. And then there's his six eyes, a rare technique that grants him immense perception, allowing him to see and process information on a level far beyond ordinary humans. But this power, as incredible as it is, sets Gojo apart from everyone else. His strength is so overwhelming that it creates an invisible barrier between him and the rest of the world. No one can match him, no one can truly understand him, and so, despite his connections, Gojo stands alone. 2. The Psychological Burden of Being the Strongest 5. Being the strongest isn't just about physical power, it's also about the psychological toll that comes with it. For Gojo, the burden of being the strongest weighs heavily on his mind. The expectations, the responsibility, the constant pressure to protect those around him, it all adds up. One of Gojo's greatest regrets is the loss of his closest friend, Suguru Geto. They were two sides of the same coin, both geniuses, both powerful, but with fundamentally different views on the world. Gojo's inability to save Geto from his dark path haunts him, a reminder that even with all his power, he is not omnipotent. Then there's Megumi Fushiguro, a student Gojo took under his wing. Megumi is one of the few people Gojo shows genuine care for, and this connection reveals another side of him, a side that fears loss. Gojo's desire to protect Megumi, to see him grow stronger, is driven by the same fear that once drove him to try and save Ghetto. For all his strength, Gojo is haunted by the same fears and doubts as anyone else. The fear of losing those he cares about, the fear of being unable to protect them, the fear of his own power becoming a curse rather than a blessing. Gojo's power has made him confident, perhaps too confident. His belief in his invincibility is both his greatest strength and his greatest weakness. Time and again, we've seen Gojo face off against powerful enemies with an air of superiority, knowing that they stand no chance against him. But what happens when that confidence turns to hubris? In the Shibuya incident, Gojo's overconfidence led him to underestimate the dangers he faced. His enemies, knowing they couldn't defeat him head on, devised a plan to seal him away, and it worked. For the first time, Gojo found himself powerless, trapped, and unable to protect those he cared about. Fans speculate about what the future holds for Gojo. Could there be a power even greater than his? Could his overconfidence lead to his ultimate downfall? Or will he find a way to overcome the limitations of his own strength? As the story of Jujutsu Kaisen unfolds, one thing is certain, Gojo's journey is far from over, and the stakes have never been higher. Gojo's power shapes not only his actions but also his worldview. He sees the Jujutsu world as fundamentally flawed, burdened by outdated traditions and corrupt leadership. His strength gives him the confidence to challenge these norms, but it also isolates him from those who fear change. Gojo's disdain for the higher-ups is well known. He believes that the current system stifles progress, and that true change can only come from those who are willing to challenge the status quo. But in pushing for this change, Gojo risks alienating himself even further from those who could be his allies. Despite his confidence, Gojo occasionally questions whether his methods are truly right. Is he pushing too hard? Too fast. Is his vision for the future something that others can even comprehend? These questions add another layer of complexity to Gojo's character, making him not just the strongest sorcerer, but also one of the most introspective. Satoru Gojo may be the strongest sorcerer in the world, but his strength comes with a heavy burden. It isolates him, it drives him, and it defines him in ways that few can understand. As we've seen, being the strongest is as much a curse as it is a blessing. So what do you think? Is Gojo's power truly a gift, or is it the greatest curse of all? The story of Satoru Gojo is far from over, and as the world of Jujutsu Kaisen continues to unfold, we can only wait and see how the strongest sorcerer will navigate the challenges ahead. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the tragic genius of Satoru Gojo, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit the notification bell for more in-depth explorations of your favorite anime characters. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know who you'd like us to cover next.